Hey, how is that? Is that cool? Yeah. That look good? Yeah. Okay, so I, I'm gonna work this out on camera right now. It's not uh, necessarily a well thought out idea, but I think that I just discovered what society's biggest problem is when it comes to the emasculation of men. So, I was just saying to my assistant here, as we're walking around, we're doing some daytime approaches, right? So, we're over here at the Third Street Promenade, approaching, doing some beach approaches, and I said, well, for one, I think I just talked to my perfect 10, okay? 10 out of 10 looks, turns out I go up and talk to her, she's French, so we end up having a fucking phenomenal conversation. In, you know, I bust out my French, oh, monsieur, je suis from en France as well, yeah, whatever, right? So that happens. And I say to you, I said, I think it's really, really good for men to be around a large quantity of attractive women. And, and not for any particular reason, not necessarily because, oh, it could be that you're gonna get laid more, the possibilities of getting laid more are there, the possibilities of finding a, a partner are there. It's not even that. It's just like, I think it just makes me feel like more of a man when I'm around a lot of hot chicks. Whether that's in a nightclub, whether that's out here, just being surrounded by beautiful women. And so I said that, and then I transitioned from that and I said, I said, so this is what happens when you move to the fucking suburbs with your, with your partner, right? With your female partner, you move to the suburbs, all of a sudden now you're not really around that many attractive women on a regular basis. So then my brain thought, well, I'm not totally against marriage and I think moving to the suburbs with your wife or whatever is not the worst thing in the world. And I think that can be incredibly fulfilling. So then I think that I've just now discovered what society's number one problem is when it comes to the emasculate, em emasculation of men and destroying the, the man's soul, right? And in my opinion, right now, again, as I just work out this idea in, in front of you guys, just totally raw here on camera, I, I don't even actually know if this is gonna get posted anywhere, in my opinion, marriage probably works best when a man is not as insanely, vibrantly sexual, when his sex drive is not through the absolute fucking roof in his teens, early 20s, late 20s, when he's had some time to become more of a man, to focus on his career, to focus on all these other things, and in time, his natural sex drive starts to go down over time, maybe that's when guys should be getting married. Hey, hey man, who is peaking when it comes to his drive to have multiple partners, when, when it comes to his drive to put his fucking penis into a wet vagina and blow a load into an egg and create a baby, hey, when you are at the point in your life when you absolutely want to do that the most, you see all these beautiful women, you think, oh, that one, that one, that one, that one. Hey, now, lock down with just one of them and swear a sacred vow in front of the giant invisible man in the sky saying that if you stick your dick into another wet vagina anywhere around you, again, you're at your peak of wanting to do that, now, now, now say a vow in front of the big man upstairs that says that if you do this, with another woman, not just this pretty little girl here that you like right now, that if you do this, you will have to give her all of your income and all of your house and all of your possessions and belongings and your fucking sanctity. And if you guys have any children involved, then, then they fucking, then you give that to them as well. Just everything and anything goes to this woman. It doesn't really sound like a good idea. So maybe I think society should potentially be pushing for marriage at a later year, at a later time. Maybe not pushing for marriage at all. Maybe just let anybody do whatever the fuck that they want to do. But I'm kind of thinking like, you know, I don't know. I'm not necessarily anti-marriage. I'm really not. And I'm definitely not pro-marriage. You, know, you know, guys come to me and I say, you know, I think different situations work for different men. Okay, different situations work for different women. You know, I think some people could handle polyamory. I think some people could not. Some people can handle monogamy. Some people cannot. Okay, so I don't know where I'm at. But maybe we shouldn't be getting married when we're 20. Just maybe. 